Yeah, so here we go again. Today has been what feels like a real busy and productive day, but I was uh, malfunctioning for the sake of a better term. Not the executive uh, dysfunction, I still got that, but uh, autistic malfunctioning, I guess, is what I'd call it. Um, I was doing that like first two thirds of the day. But the last third I was real productive. I mean, the day's practically over. It's past the past nine p.m. at this point. But I un I folded my laundry for the first time in months, so I'm real happy about that. Yay! Woohoo! Um, I had a shower and I did manage to go shopping. Though of the things I bought shopping-wise, uh, more than half in value was milk. <laughs> so I did my shopping trip quick. On my way out from the parking garage of the shopping centre, I had a situation where uh, something that would cause me discomfort would help someone else m more uh, stop their discomfort of a greater extent because I don't value my own, my own discomfort or comfort very much, I guess. Uh, which was a couple of lads pushing a Beamer bike uh, trying to get it start because apparently the battery run flat. The thing is, because of this big car, I got jumper leads and a tow rope in it, so I offered them to jump them, and they were very happy about that, I guess. Which is something, hell, why not? Well, then again, that's been my social interaction for the weekend, so tomorrow I'm probably not leaving the flat again. <laughs> then again, they were very happy about it, so I mean, why wouldn't they be, of course? Uh, I'm oddly proud about having managed to go shopping for groceries and having had a shower and folding my laundry which is, I believe, things people normally have to do in life like someone have to do it so normally people have to do it, I guess for it to have been done but I'm real proud I managed that because I guess small steps is better than being rolled up all day because it was only rolled up two thirds of the day Yay. Uh, I got the go-ahead for my question uh, in regards to the paper I'm writing for uni, or well, I'm supposed to write for uni. Uh, I tried applying for accommodation, because obviously ADHD and autistic and all that, and realistically this is a workload I don't think a neurotypical person could handle, I don't think it has much to do with that. But as I'm entitled to accommodation, I might as well use it in this case to offset an unreasonable amount of workload and spread it out over time or whatever. But apparently for that, you need to fill out forms, uh, which I can't hack for the life of me. And the joke is, it's not like you're given the forms. You still have to find them somewhere, and I don't know where they are, and I don't believe anyone knows where they are. So that's kind of like applying for disability governmentally I mean I've had a real productive day but is not productive enough to for being a full-time student like I can't just manage my life and be happy with that I also need to do work for uni baby steps I guess I'm most likely already in the double digits of smoke simply because I only slept at like 6am. Uh, I think I did this here at like 4am so yeah. Did actually help me sleep some. Uh, didn't sleep well though. But at least I slept I guess so that's better than nothing. Better than nothing. Uh, yeah those fellas were real happy. I, I had jumper leads with me. And I think any size car, even a hatchback, should have jumper leads, realistically. But then again, we are in the 21st century, where when the battery runs flat, you need to undo five covers on most things. Like, that guy had to undo six covers on his Beamer bike, six screws to undo the cover to get to the battery. And 
I guess that's just how things are. They ain't user serviceable, which is kind of sad. Mm. At least there weren't some proprietary heads or so, but I wouldn't have been surprised if it were. Nothing against Bima, uh, just in general. Because uh, the way things are going. Like, 80 years ago, that wouldn't have been an issue. Magneto and Kickstart. If you can't start it, you need to jump harder. Yeah, I guess I am occasionally a boomer in a zoomer body, which is what some of my friends accuse me of. Friends, that's a good word. Um, ADHD tangent again. Last time I sat here and talked to myself, I said, uh, I'm sure friends would help. Thing is, I thought about it, and I don't think they would be able to. Not just in the fact that I wouldn't be cooperating and accepting help. I don't think there is a thing a friend or another human could do to help me. Like, I'm the problem. Then again, I'm the problem leads to depressive and uh, depressive thoughts and shit, and I don't want that, so I'm not the problem. Uh, lying to oneself. For the, for the sake of the Bee Gees. Yeah, oddly enough, uh, another tangent again. Um... I think I'm actually going to start titling these things, not just session so-and-so, but yes, it was, uh, things can only go uphill from here, session 38. I believe I'll keep on with that, like, give a TLDW, too lazy didn't watch in the title. Just because, why not? Help me index and better myself anyway, in my head. In my head. Though I did feel comfortable enough to leave the flat to go shopping today, I did obviously go by car, surprise, because uh, try carrying 14 litres of milk and some juice on public transport, have fun trying that. Then again, I could just go shopping on a more regular basis, but that's even more risk of social interaction. But I didn't feel comfortable enough to put on socks and shoes, which is an odd thing, because I've kind of done it every day in the past year and a half since I lived here. More than a year and a half by now, again, three quarter. Almost two years. I didn't actually put on solid footwork. I just put on some Birkenstock shoes. Birkenstock Boston's. Which is kind of what I did in the home country. Like use these shoes all day. But back then I drove barefoot. Which to be fair on country roads. So I still don't think it's too irresponsible. I still think operating your mobile phone at a traffic light. Is less responsible than operating a motor vehicle barefoot. Then again if you are barefoot. You might want to not go... 200 kilometers an hour on the autobahn, which I had done at one point in time. Then again, we learn as we grow older. So at least the idea, I guess, that's had in the brain. Mm. So I left at a time where a lot of people would be coming back from weekend activities on a Saturday from here. I did manage to get a real good parking spot back. So, like, one of the best because I can make sure the entryway from the pavement next next to the front door to the car park next to the street uh stay free because wherever it's not free there's a dog shit uh like where there's no tiles on the floor or nothing like we've got two rows small plaster stones and on those you see the dog crap but all ev all everywhere else where there's grass you don't i also noticed my dash cam installation um, though still smooth and all, I had lost one connection uh, to the internal facing camera, uh, so I had to pop that back in. And I now got the SD card to see if I'm actually recording data because I have the suspicion my hotkey dash button um, don't might not work so great. In the case of accident, it wouldn't be all too bad because realistically, hell. If I got an accident, I'll have crash detection and it won't record after, so it won't overwrite it anyway. But, I mean, for the sake of amusing myself at later times and debriefing myself, having a button at the ready to save files might be adequate. Like, I believe the second time I drove with the camera proper installed and all, I was cut off by left turners at traffic lights twice and they didn't have no left arras. They just had a green light and they just turned left through me. Both times I luckily was 
fit enough to operate my vehicle brakes in a rather rapid fashion, which I don't like doing, but who does? Then again, they prob the first person apologised and the second one didn't even notice they I had to brake for them. <sighs> Some people don't learn. Mm. I guess with the second case, uh, because I was coming up to the traffic light, all the way up to the traffic light was a 30 speed limit, and from the traffic light on it was a 50 with a sign even indicated. So they might have not expected me to accelerate at the traffic light, though that's legally what I am supposed to be doing if I have a green light. Like, even if I do 30 all the way to the traffic light, which I do because it's the rule, it's the letter of the law, uh, like, from the traffic light on one order to do 50, well, max speed, but also you don't want to be hindrance of traffic, and you want to get where you're going, so you do the max speed or just under, but not 20 under. Not 40% under the speed limit. Because that's kind of a hindrance to traffic. Uh. Yeah, I guess calling it autistic malfunction might be a thing. It's not executive dysfunction, it's autistic malfunction. Not being able to do nothing curling up waiting for the day to pass so the next one can start so that can pass as well hmm. I'm very confident I was very happy to help those two fellas and they were certainly happy I was there to help them I don't know why the conflict didn't stop to be fair because it's like in a five minute endeavour I guess a lot of people don't have jump leads, I don't know. Then again, I, I deem it irresponsible to operate your phone while operating a motor vehicle, even if it is a traffic light. And I seem to be in the minority with this, so I'm starting to think, yet again, as I have in the past, I'm just being reaffirmed in the belief of me being crazy with uh, operating a motor vehicle. That it is, in fact, heavy machinery and it can kill people, but it's half, half bad if you're driving it distracted. Again, I probably shouldn't think that because, I mean, my ethics are worth something, so I'm not going to be doing it. And I've tried to stop judging people a long time ago for anything, including that. But I guess I might want to inform them that they can kill people because I guess some people might not come across the idea first. Then again, it's not my job. But I'm a participant on the road, which means if I don't say nothing, I'm I'm complicit in my book, because I could tell them. And if they then don't kill someone, I'm happy to have caused them to not kill another human being. And if I don't say nothing, they kill someone else, then I feel guilty, complicit. I mean, I'm obviously not the police. I'm not supposed to find people for that or so, which I don't have the power to and I wouldn't dare to. But as a person partaking in traffic on the road, I do feel I have some, I bear some responsibility to keep the roads as safe as they are supposed to be, even if they may have never been that way. I mean, it doesn't matter if they've been that way or not. Just because something has been bad a lot for a long time, or forever and never been great, don't mean you should throw your ideals in the wind, really. At least not my book. Most people don't seem to care enough. I mean, if you stop at traffic lights, like three-lane traffic light, person to your right, person to your left, or up front, or even not up front, you can see them on their phones, like the people driving. The other day I seen a guy who was on his phone, with, I'm assuming their spouse sat next to them, and the spouse didn't care, they didn't care, the driver was on the phone, the passenger weren't doing nothing. Like, why? Just give the phone to the passenger. And that's not 30, good sir. Phew, that was speeding like hell. Like, lose your license for a month, kind of hell, speeding. 
Then again, if the police don't care, who am I to care? Besides an active participant in traffic who would like to not have accidents. I guess it's a matter of uh, wanting them to do their jobs. Then again, I fully acknowledge the fact that they probably have more important things to do. Person driving by on their phone, surprise. Um, like, they might have more important things to do, but in that case, there ain't enough rosas. Like, hell, pay me two grand net for 80%, and I'll drive around and find people for it. I'll collect all the evidence so you can find them. Like, it might be a special place in hell right next to the lawyers for me, but in the end of the day, it kill people. Like, do people not realise, or do they just not care? And I mean long term as a fictitious goal because apparently humans need a purpose in life. Um, I have the idea, for example, of perhaps one day modifying a car or building one myself from near scrap of where I am now, Germany. This that would not really be roadworthy, no matter what I do, unless I'm bloody billionaire to pass all inspections and kind of stuff. And that's no matter how responsible I am an engineer in it. Then again, seeing people drive around here, I wouldn't be surprised if you can drive around for a month without a reg plate on your car and no one would give a shit. But in this country, strictly speaking, not legal. So, but if I then go to a place where that is legal, a lot of other things are legal as well. Then again, if the things are legal or just illegal but not enforced, to a lot of people don't seem to make a difference. I don't know. Like, I'm just going in circles here. I've written an essay, Reprimandation in Operating Motor Vehicles, like a year ago, which was exactly this. Because I tooted my horn at someone with a phone and they were upset. Yeah, I just don't know how to deal with this shit. And again, people operating their phones while driving vehicles, heavy machinery, is just a symptom of all the things that are wrong with mankind in my head, I guess. Then again, they might not be wrong with mankind, it might just be my head. Like, I might just be fucking crazy. Because I'm the only benchmark I got. And I can't even look into my head. But I'm way closer to that than anyone else's head. <sighs> also bought myself five euro worth of pudding. Or yoghurt or mix of both. And a bottle of ouzo. Which is dangerous because it's the alcohol you don't notice it's alcohol when drinking it. And then again, I don't drink and drive, so. And I drive a lot, so I guess I don't drink all too much. Uh... Like, I don't know if I'm the crazy one. I might just be nuts. In which case, what am I still doing here? Then again, that's back to depressive thoughts of uh, questioning one's existence, which is not healthy. But if I'm not the crazy one, then everyone else is. And that seems improbable, implausible. Both, I guess. I don't know, I think I'm just a crazy one. Well, I guess good news about me being over my, another tangent again, ADHD, um, being over, well, over, uh, having passed this 
autistic malfunction of being human and functioning um, is I'll be able to stick to my word and help that classmate on Monday which to be fair I believe I would have done no matter what even if I couldn't do the public transport because hell worst case go there by car um, it's bound to be a disaster because they have not the slightest what they're doing but they might have it all figured out I wouldn't know they're the showrunners so they issue it's not my place to tell them um, so I'm not But I believe I would have showed up and helped them even if I didn't show up to the lecture in the afternoon that day. Just because, in the end of the day, what am I in uni for if not establish connections, prove my character to potential future employers or colleagues? I guess that's the main point I'm uni for. And then again, I would like the piece of paper for all that money. The piece of paper that say I'm capable of doing the same shit for three and a half years consistently. Which seem crazy to me because there's so many matters of character that are more than being able to do the same shit for three and a half years. That one would think in society that shouldn't bear too much weight of character. Like hell. I think I'm just a crazy one. I don't know, odds are no one's going to see this because average watch time is about 10 to 20 seconds with about one or two clicks of video, so odds are no one will see this. But if you do, say below how crazy I am on a scale of minus pi to roll, why not give you some odd scale? <laughs> no one's going to see this anyway, anyway. Stay safe. Uh, hope you're not as crazy as I am. Cheerio.